Welcome back to JB Reviews. I have a 2021 GMC Sierra with a Duramax diesel. And it has about 56,300 miles on it. And I borrowed this truck from Jerry Signer Cadillac. It is available for sale. I'll show you guys some of the pricing in a little bit, but this truck is the AT4 and it has to have this cap on it too. So we're gonna see how much it weighs with my trailer. Now, class four hitch is already standard on this truck. And here's some of the numbers on the door. So the ones that are important is the gross axle rating in the rear at 3,800 pounds and gross fuel weight rating is gonna be 7,100 pounds. Now this truck all in has 1,490 pounds of payload. Now it's showing that the conventional towing is gonna be 8,800 pounds and they're showing about an 880 pound tongue weight. Now because this is a 2021, this is not the LZO. This is the LM2 3 liter inline six Duramax diesel. It's gonna have 277 horsepower and 460 pound feet of torque. If I got that right, man, I'm good. Now I recently got my trailer weighed with a Ford F-150, but because this is a different truck, I'm gonna get it weighed again. Now, when I did my towing test with the HDs, I had four tires in here and my 150 pound generator full of fuel. Now here's a car, obviously. We gotta put some weight in here. This car is full of fuel, and I'm thinking it's probably around 35, 3600 pounds because this trailer weighs about 4,000 pounds. I do have some tools in here. The only negative thing about half tons is that rear gross axle rating. So if you're looking to get a trailer like this, you might wanna get an aluminum one. Now let's go ahead and back the truck up and then I'll show you guys some of the towing features that this truck has. Now they do give you a convex on the driver's side. Unfortunately, they don't give you one on the passenger side. If they did, you would not need the tow mirrors. They do provide a trailer brake here. Also tow haul mode is right here. So if you swipe it to the left, it shows that it's on. And here is the backup camera. So if you want the tow line, they do provide that. Also, if you need to zoom in, that has that too. And it looks like we're perfectly there. Now when you zoom in, it does put it in park automatically because it has electronic parking brake. Now I'm sure you guys want to see how much the truck is going to squat. So let's go ahead and check it out. Okay. Let's use 40 and 1 8. We are at 37 and 3 eighths. That's gonna be two and three quarters of a drop. Now, as far as the towing information goes for this truck, you guys can see it does say trailer brakes connected. And this truck looks like it was probably owned by a female. So let's go ahead and create, actually we'll just do guest trailer. We'll do guest trailer and all we have to do is really just set up the trailer brake. So I normally do about two and a half to three for GM pickups. It seems like you don't need much feedback because they're pretty strong. But apart from that, they do show you a towing menu here and that's pretty much it. Let's go ahead and get down the road so you guys can see how much tongue weight we have and how much payload you're gonna have after this trailer is hooked up having a little bit of issues with this camera, so hopefully it works. Let's go, before something else happens. I'm all locked in, and because I don't have any tow mirrors, I don't have to adjust anything on the mirrors, really. Now, I think when you put the truck into tow haul mode, correct me if I'm wrong, I think it's supposed to turn on the exhaust brake as well. I didn't see anything happen though. But it's all good though. Because I know that this diesel is gonna give us a little bit of engine braking. I do know what the LM2, no, this is the LM2, the LZO, excuse me, 
that's the one that gives you some engine braking for sure because I've seen it pop up when I put it into a haul. And the reason why I'm doing this video now is because I can use that truck in the future as an example against this one. Now this truck does have less horsepower and torque and they did beef up the, the second generation of this engine. But yeah, I'm super excited. If you didn't watch the last video, I did a power boost. And that truck did very well. I was expecting a little bit more because of that big horsepower and torque that it has. And of course it's a hybrid, so it has electric uh, power too. But it did better than the HD trucks did for sure. So now we have to see if this can be the new benchmark. In the past, I've said that GM pickups tow the best. This truck does not have a um, max tow package on it. So, or at least I don't think so. I, I actually, I know it doesn't because of the axle rating out back. So we'll have to see how it does overall. Now, wide open throttle. I can't wait to test the LZL for sure. <laughs> because that is a torque monster. But so far, so good. I mean, this truck, you know, is pulling pretty good. We're up to 60 now. And the mirrors, like I said, having that convex, you don't really need the tow mirrors, especially if you're going to stay in the right lane. This is perfect right here, for sure. I'm just going to adjust it just a little bit, though. Up a little bit there. This side's fine. But yeah, so far, 60 miles an hour. The trailer's definitely back there for sure. This truck does have the standard bed, so that Ford had the longer bed and it had a trailer tow package. So I feel like already out of the gate, I can tell there's a little bit of extra sway. In the next video, I'll go over the tire specs for you guys. That way you have an idea of what's on the truck. But we should be at the way station in about three minutes. I'll check back in then. Currently right now, this truck is available for sale for 45 426 at Jerry Signer Chevrolet. Here's the Carfax report. You guys can see one owner and it was in a business name out in, looks like Montana. Now, as far as the original windsticker goes, this truck was $58,330. You guys can see the Philly comment numbers here. And if you want to see some of the options there right here, so that Duramax was $995. That paint was 645 and this one did have the Goodyear Wrangler dirt track tires added. Alright, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to put the numbers into a spreadsheet because I want to show it to you guys because we are definitely over in a few spots. Now on this side, these are all the ratings for the truck that you guys already saw on the door stickers. On this side, this is a cat scale weigh-in. Now as far as the front axle goes, Whenever you're towing with a half ton truck, you're probably gonna have to use a weight distribution hitch. But as I said in the video, aluminum trailers are your friends with these lighter trucks and to stay within the payload and potentially the towing capacity. So axle out back, we did exceed that. Also, we did exceed the gross fuel co rating. We also exceeded the payload because of the gross fuel co rating. And we also, exceeds the gross combined weight rating. Now, I was a little thrown off by the numbers. I was like, man, this this is a lot of weight compared to what I've seen on other trucks. But then I remember this truck had that cap on the back of the bed. And I'm assuming it's about 250 pounds because of the size of this truck. I saw one online for a Tacoma. It was 180. And so this is a little bit bigger truck. And they had a few accessories on it. So I'm assuming 250 with that. And that's kind of why we really exceeded that rear gross axle rating. So that's something to consider if you are looking to tow a trailer and you want to try to stay as close to the numbers as you can. Those accessories really do take away a lot of your payload. Now, yeah, we're over by 320 pounds, which isn't too bad. But when you consider it's just me inside the truck and that was not with a full tank of fuel and there's no gear in the bed. So, yes you are way over if you decided to buy this truck and tow this type of trailer. Gross combined weight rating, we're over by 280 pounds. And this is the towing capacity with the hitch weight. So we're over there too. So this is just not the best truck for towing. And the hitch weight, it may not be this heavy because as you guys saw, I took out the generator and the wheels and tires. So 
I'm thinking that hitch weight might be maybe a little bit under 1,200 pounds. But we didn't have that cap on the bed. We may have been under. We may have been. But this is just not a good truck for, you know, towing much over 7,000 pounds. I think once you get to 7,000 pounds, you might want to go ahead and consider a three-quarter ton. Now it's time to go up to 6% grade. We're going to do that in the next video. Be sure to subscribe to the channel. As I said always, it's always a good idea to really understand towing in terms of like the weight of trailers, all these things. A lot of guys online will spout out that their half ton can tow 12, 13,000 pounds. And I'm just being honest here. Most of these trucks are only really able to safely tow, I would say six to 7,000 pounds. And once you start getting over that hump, you really have to consider a three-quarter ton. So just keep that in mind. Be safe out there and see you in the next video.